bloody man is that? He can report as seemeth by his plight of the revolt, the newest state. Say to the king the knowledge of the broil as thou didst leave it. Doubtful it stood as two spent swimmers that do cling together and choke their art. The merciless MacDonald, worthy to be a rebel, for to that the multiplying villainies of nature do swarm upon him from the western isles of Kearns and Gallo Glasses is supplied, and fortune on his damned quarry, smiling, showed like a rebel's whore. But all's too weak for brave Macbeth. Live you? Or are you aught that man may question? You seem to understand me, by each at once her choppy finger laying upon her skinny lips. Speak, if you can. What are you? All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, Thane of Glans. All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, Thane of Cawdor. All hail, Macbeth, that shalt be king hereafter. Good sir, why do you start and seem to fear things that do sound so fair? In the name of truth, I ye fantastical, or that indeed which outwardly ye show. My noble partner you greet with present grace and great prediction of noble having and of royal hope that he seems wrapped with all. To me you speak not. If you can look into the seeds of time and say which grains will grow and which will not, speak then to me, who neither beg nor fear your favours nor your hate. Hail, hail, hail. Lesser than Macbeth and greater, not so happy yet much happier. Thou shalt get kings, though thou be none. So, all hail Macbeth and Banquo. Banquo and Macbeth, all hail. Stay, you imperfect speakers, tell me more. By Sinal's death I know I am Thane of Glams, but how of Cawdor? The Thane of Cawdor lives, a prosperous gentleman, and to be king lives not within the prospect of belief no more than to be Cawdor. Say from whence you owe this strange intelligence, or why upon this blasted heath you stop our way with such prophetic greeting. Speak, I charge you! <laughs> the earth that bubbles as the water has, and these are of them, whither are they banished? into the air, and what seemed corporal melted as breath into the wind, would they had stayed? Were such things here as we to speak about, or have we eaten on the insane route that takes the reason prisoner? Your children shall be kings, you shall be king. <coughs> they met me in the day of success, and I have learnt by the perfectest reports they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burned in desire to question them further, they made themselves heir into which they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in the wonder of it, came missives from the king, who all hailed me, Thane of Cawdor, by which title these weird sisters before saluted me, and referred me to the coming on of time, with hail, king, that shall be. This have I thought good to deliver thee, my dearest partner in greatness, that thou mightst not lose the dues of rejoicing, by being ignorant of what greatness is promised thee. Lay it to thy heart and farewell. Glams to lay to the Osikodor, et tu sera tout ce qui te promis. Mais je crains de nature. Elle est trop pleine de l'air de la plus franque humanité pour aller au plus court. Tu veux grandir. Tu as de l'ambition, mais tu n'as pas le mal en toi qui l'autorise à être. Tu veux très haut, mais tu veux saintement. Tu ne veux pas jouer faux, mais tu veux gagner par posté. Tu veux avoir glam ce qui te crie. Tu dois le faire lorsque tu l'as. Et c'est plutôt la peur de faire qu'un désir de voir la chose non faite. Reviens-moi, que je te verse un peu de mes esprits dans tes oreilles, chassant par la vaillance de ma langue. Tout ce qui t'interdit au cercle d'or dont le destin et le monde outre l'homme semble tout croné. The king comes here tonight. Thou art mad to say it. Is not thy master with him who had so would have informed for preparation? So please you, it is true. A thane is coming. One of my fellows had the speed of him who almost dead for breath had scarcely more than would make up his message. Give him tending. 
he brings great news. The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Ven esprit, vous qui veillez sur les pensées mortelles, là, dessexuez-moi, remplissez-moi du chef jusqu'aux orteils, plein à rabord de la plus implacable cruauté. You like the season of all nature's sleep? Come with to sleep. My strange and self-abuse is the initiate fear that wants hard use. We are yet but young indeed. Thrice the brindled cap hath been, thrice and once the pledge of big wine. Love your life, this time is like, round about the cauldron go, in the poison and to throat, toe the up the cold stroke, raise the night as no one, throw the feathers in the pot, whirl about the charming pot, double, double, turn the drop, fire round the golden mop. There is all the very straight in the cauldron, boil and cake, fire, this and color, rock, what a Thunder. 